A tank can be used as a starting point in a system to define the source of the fluid. The liquid level in the tank, the fluid surface pressure and the elevation of the outlet point from the tank all contribute to give the potential energy of the fluid which can provide some motive force to create flow. Here we have a simple system consisting of two tanks joined by a pipe. You can see that the source tank has a liquid level set to 1.7 meters. Whereas the destination tank has a liquid level set to 0.7 meters. Although the surface pressure and tank elevations are the same, there is a difference in liquid level in the tank. Therefore, there is a motive force to create flow from the source tank to the destination tank. Where the fluid is open to atmosphere, the fluid surface pressure should be set to zero PSI gauge or zero bar gauge. For a pressurized container, the fluid surface pressure will be set to the pressure in the container. A suitable icon can be chosen to represent a pressurized container. The icon selected is only for visual purposes and the icon choice does not have any effect on the calculations. Upon clicking calculate the system is solved and the flow rate and pressure drop are calculated. If we view the results drawing we can hover the mouse over the various components in the model and see the calculated values. So in the case of the pipe we have flow and mass flow, velocity of the fluid in the pipe, pressure loss broken down into friction loss in the pipe and fitting loss as well as the various user-defined parameters such as pipe length and diameter.